friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are going to be doing something very exciting because I bought 10 mystery surprise capsules. That's right. I discovered these were a thing the other day. These are to celebrate the Disney 100 anniversary, which is quite cool. And these are Disney 100 surprise capsules by Yumi. Now, these are pretty similar to the ones that I opened a very long time ago, which were Harry Potter ones, where you open segments and then you see what's inside. We have a door number one on here, and then if you flip it over, we've got door number two. And then I'm guessing we find out who the character is. Now, there are 15 characters to collect in this series, and they're described as coming with a major and a minor accessory. These cost around £9.99 each and something that I quite like about these is apparently the packaging that they come in is also to be repurposed into a little display plinth. I will link these down below if you're interested in getting one for yourself but let's get on with the video because we have 10 of these to open today. Let's see which characters we get and hey if you are brand new here firstly hello welcome and don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you would like to become part of our weird magical online family but let's go because it's time for a little Disney magic <laughs> just in case you were wondering how many 10 looks like they are here but let's get opening uh, I'm gonna start with this one for no reason so let's take a closer look at the packaging. I firstly have to mention how beautiful these look just in general. The aesthetic, the kind of holographic, nice rainbow effect is very, very nice. This is series one, which makes me think that maybe they're gonna come out with a few different series, but who knows. Now, an important part of the packaging is here because we do actually have some instructions. So it says that door number one, which is up here at the top, this has to be scratched off to find a clue. And number two is heat sensitive. So we have had these kind of clues in the Harry Potter ones that we've open before go check them out so let's just get opening it let's see how good disney 100's pull tabs are Ooh, ooh, pretty good <laughs> okay so let's okay so the design is actually on the box itself i thought it was on the plastic for some reason but let's start with door number one then i don't know how we open the oh it just pops up. Okay, so these come off, so it's a little lid. And then underneath is a tiny little card. If we spin this card round, this is where we need to scratch off. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the lid that we just took off to reveal what is underneath. You know what? My nails actually do a much better job. So here is clue number one. It's a little kind of cliff with an arch through it of a beautiful sea. Leave your guesses down below. Let's move on to door number two, which is going to be clue number two by lifting this up. Okay, so the card is in here and here it is. So this is clue number two, and apparently we can just put the heat of our thumbprints on here to reveal something underneath. Okay, let's do this then. Something is revealing itself. I think I may know who this is, maybe. It's kind of giving the hair of Tinkerbell, potentially. I'm not the biggest Disney buff, but I do love Disney, so let's see if I'm right by opening the main capsule then. So I think we can now go ahead and take this section off. So this turns into a plinth, apparently, which we will certainly see very soon. Now in... Oh, okay. So let's take this off actually so this is where the character is inside this little tombola disney thing okay 
Okay, let's Okay, so inside this box were not one, not two, but three bags. We've got one, two, three. We're gonna start with one because I believe this is going to be the smaller accessory. So bag number one, let's see what's inside. Oh, it's a thimble. <laughs> this is a clue to our first character. And I think my guess, I, I'm pretty confident with it now. So let's go to number two see what's inside here oh that's so cute <laughs> it's a little reel of thread that's so cute and then I guess all that's left is the main shebang which is opening the character which is in bag number three after all of our guesses is it gonna be Tinkerbell yes it is here she is up close she's got her wings she's got a cute little tiny slippers with her pom-poms and her little green dress and very cute now inside this box were a few other things and one of them's pretty important because it is a stand which we can then go ahead and put tinkerbell's feet inside so there we have it, and then she can stand like so. We've also got a little cheat sheet guide of all of the characters that we can get today. So I'm not gonna to spend too long looking at this, but it does also have instructions of how we can make our little plinth. So let's go ahead and make that. Ah, okay. So if we get all of our pieces that we have from opening the ends of this box, we have some metal plinth bits. We have this piece of card in here, which says number six. And when we turn it over, we actually have a little bit of a set to match what else is in the box, which I'll show you in a minute. But we also have a teeny tiny Tinkerbell, which I'm sure is going to go on the front of the plinth. So apparently all we have to do is flip this over. So make sure those are on like so. Make sure that's in. I think this goes on like that. And then we put this in here. And then we put our little board on like so. Because in here we've got a little backing which we can then put inside of here to make some sort of backdrop for it which is quite cute and the little tiny sticker that comes with it you peel this off and then this goes on the front here to show you which plinth um, belongs to which character so there we have it a little tinkerbell one um, these seem to just sit on top of each other unless we pop out the lid and then this is how that sticks in. Aha, we have figured it out. This is the plinth. <laughs> and then Tinkerbell can then stand on her little plinth like so. And she can also go with her little accessories too. Okay, okay, it took a while for me to figure this out, but we've got there and we're one character in. I guess all that's left to do is open the other nine. Let's move on to ca Oh, that's so disappointing when the tabs don't work. Moving on to mystery capsule number two. And oh, I think we just got really lucky with the first pull tab. No, this one is not satisfying at all. We're nearly in. Are we in? <laughs> okay, we're finally into the second capsule then. Let's see what the clues are then. So let's take out clue number one. It's another scratchy one. Okay, I have have a little clue, but it's not just about what I think. Whose cottage do you think this belongs to? Okay, let's reveal our second clue. Oh, I think this might be one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. Can you guess from that little hint? No need to wait for too long because we're about to open this one up and see who is inside this capsule. We have got bag number two, we've got bag number three, and down here somewhere is bag number one. Okay, let's see what the accessory hint is. 
Oh, this is so small. Oh, oh, wow, it's even got a little stalk. This is the world's tiniest red apple. I wouldn't be eating this if I knew what it was. Number two is our bigger accessory, which is... <gasps> Oh, that's so cute. It's a baby deer. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love the pattern on its back. That's so sweet. Okay, if you haven't guessed by now, you are about to find out who this character is. Of course, it is no other than Snow White. Oh, she's looking very beautiful in her dress there. And they've even put high heels on her, which I don't think was very necessary because you wouldn't be able to really see her feet with her dress, but I appreciate that they've gone to the length of doing that. Here's the little deer. Oh, isn't it so cute? And then the apple, which can actually, I think, sit in her hand when it's on display, but we'll see. Better. And here we have Snow White. I have her tiny little apple here, um, which is gonna look so cute. I love the background of this. It's her little cottage where she lives with all of the seven dwarves. Uh, that's definitely gonna be a favorite of mine. Number three. Oh, okay. We're back to the good pull tabs. Hint number one. Okay, I feel like the hints really helped me last time. And I think I might have an inkling about this next one too. Here is the destination like backdrop hint. Time for hint number two. Mm, okay, okay. This is the hint for this character. I have a strong feeling about this one too. <laughs> just a little a little hint with my amazing singing i know who this is and they have the opportunity to have some really good accessories with this one so let's start with accessory number one something quite tiny what is it oh <laughs> okay this is the hint do any of you know it yet accessory number two yes it's it's Pua. <laughs> it's a teeny tiny little poor pig. <laughs> I actually have a plushie of poor pig. I just love poor. I thought it was such a good character in the film. Okay, so if you haven't guessed by now, this is of course the iconic Moana. Let's get her out. There she is and she looks fantastic. Now what's quite cool is we can put this oar in her hand. I believe if we just put it in her hand like so. I think that's meant to be the right way around. And here we have Moana's. Let me just take Pua and Moana out to show you the backdrop of the island. I also did mistakenly put um, what she's holding in the wrong way round, fake fan. There it is, Moana, she got her little sticker there. Let's move on to number four. Let's make this good, because if you've been watching me and these kind of things for a while, you guys know that number four, I like to make a fuss about, because it's my favorite number. Oh, which one's got a good feeling? I think maybe this one. Let's scratch off our location and set hint. I think that's as much hint as they're maybe going to give us. It's sort of like a grassy meadow with a hill. I'm not sure yet. I'm actually stumped with that one. Let's move on to clue number two. Let's see if this one can give us a little better hint. Oh! <gasps> This might be the mouse himself. It's got to be, right? I feel like this one is a really good one to get for the Disney 100 celebrations. Let's start off with packet number one. What have we got? Oh, it's a teeny tiny little film camera. That's really cute. The next accessory is number two. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a balloon on a rope. That's so cute. That's actually like a quite a weighty balloon, but it's going to float. I have a feeling it's going to float. Okay, so that leaves us with the character, which is, drum roll please, it is Mickey Mouse himself. So we can actually give Mickey 
his balloon and put that into his hand, I think. Oh, that looks so cute. <laughs> I love him. He's also got his little camera, which I guess he could, I don't think there's a way for him to hold it, but it's still a cute little thing. Let's take a look at the backdrop. Here we have it, Mickey Mouse. And I can just take him off. I will leave his camera there, but this is the backdrop for Mickey, which is quite cute. Definitely wouldn't have guessed that, but that's a really lovely one. It's classic Disney. Number five, we're halfway through. Hint number one, let's see if we can guess a little bit better with this one. Not sure about this one at the moment, but I'm hoping that number two will definitely give us a better hint. Hmm, okay, let's have a look. Who could this be? <gasps> This I can tell who it's going to be, but, and for those of you that are avid watchers of me in the last Disney mystery thing that we did, I said I hadn't watched Lilo and Stitch yet. And I still haven't watched it. I know, I'm just gonna wait for you to tell me off. But let's open this one up and see what accessories come with this character. Number one is, oh. That's so cute. I do recognize this, but I personally don't know what it's called or what it is because I haven't seen this movie yet. Number two then, let's move on to see what the hint is. Of course, it is a surfboard, which is obviously also a little plinth for, it's gonna be Stitch, it's gonna be Stitch. Let's get him out of bag number three. There he is. <laughs> He is so cute and I do love Stitch as a character and like a design of a character But let's put Stitch on his little surfboard. Let's get him surfing. I Put that sticker on so wonky And here we have it. This is Stitch and this is the background which makes sense it being water from what I've seen of things about Stitch, but yes very cool. <gasps> I've just realized something really cool, guys. I don't know how it's taken me five capsules to realize this, but on the back of them all are the characters, like off the back of the sets. That's so cool. I didn't realize. They're just, I mean, they're really cute. I will leave them that way round whilst we open our next one and then I'll turn them back around. So let's move on to capsule number six. Oh! I don't want to tempt fate or like jinx anything guys, but we haven't had any repeats so far and that excites me a lot. Okay, number one. I think it's a brand new one. We have not had this hint yet. How lucky is that? There were only like maybe 15 of these left in the store. Oh, <gasps> this is our hint. And I think I'm very excited about this one. Let's have a little look. Oh, I met this character when I first went to Disneyland. That is Sully's hand from Monsters, Inc. <laughs> okay, we've got bag number two. Number three, which feels really heavy. <laughs> okay, item number one. Oh, a little Monsters, Inc. hat. I swear if they've put Mike and Sully in here, I'm going to lose it. Number two. Two, hint number two, or accessory number two, I should say, is, oh, it's Boo! <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> oh, that's cute, and she's in her little monster outfit as well. I really need to watch Monsters, Inc. It has been years since I've watched it, and that is the cute, oh, that's so, so, so cute. Okay, the character bag, don't disappoint me. Oh, there's no Mike in there, but it's okay because we do have Sully and he's absolutely adorable. I am obsessed. See? And you can kind of put the little hat on as well. And here we have it. I think this one may be a close contender to being one of my favorites. And just to show you the set, it is a bigger set of the door, which is very, very cute. I really want to watch that now. Capsule number seven. 
it's our set hint let's have a little look oh my god we're getting so lucky here not having duplicates and if this is a set to one of my favorite films or we're about to find out i think it might be there we have it that is looking mightily similar to a certain coral reef shall i say but let's just keep swimming with uh, the hints oh this is gonna be dory <laughs> come here little squishy <gasps> Okay, I have no idea what the accessories could even be for a fish, but we're about to find out. Of course, it's a little seashell, like a little clam. And then number two, something a little bit bigger. <gasps> They've included Nemo! Which means that Dory is the main character. I wasn't expecting... Why did they include Nemo, but not Mike with Monsters, Inc.? Feeling a bit short-changed here. Either way, let's open... Dory! Out you swim! Come on! Oh! <laughs> She's even in coral. And look at that little happy face. <laughs> That's so cute. What's the address? P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way or something? Right, I am ready to make a coral reef. Okay, here we have it. Dory and finding... Well, it <laughs> is not called Finding Nemo. Anyway, this is the Finding Nemo, um, or maybe it's Finding Dory, because it does have Dory on the front. This is her coral reef. Oh, three more capsules. Let's move on to number five, six, seven, eight. Oh my God, and still no repeats. And I can't even say that I was sent a full set of these because I bought these from a shop in a display that had these just lying there. Okay, give me a hint. Why do I have a feeling it's gonna be a repeat? Oh, I totally jinxed it. This is absolutely a repeat. So I'm gonna pop that back in. It's another Tinkerbell. I totally just unzipped that off camera. Number nine. <laughs> just as I was saying how lucky we were getting. Okay, who's it gonna be? Oh, it's someone new! Okay, it's someone new. Oh, the luck has come back, guys. It's okay. The luck has come back. Okay, I'm not sure what this hint is. What is that? It's like a little... Oh, mm, okay, I've got a slight inkling of who this might be, but I'm not 100% sure, so we're gonna have to go to clue number two. Okay, let's warm this up and see who I think it might be. Oh! I know who it is. That's a sheriff badge. It may or may not be my favorite cowboy. Clue item number one, even though I know who it is, but maybe you don't know who it is just yet. Let's have a look. Oh, oh. it's one of my favorite characters from Toy Story 4. This is, I used to call him Sporky, but I think he's actually called Forky, but it makes more sense to be called Sporky because he's a spork. Anyway, this is so cute. I kind of want this tiny little Forky on my desk. Like that is a great item. Let's open number two. This one's quite squished and crumpled. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a little toy block. One of Andy's toys. <laughs> it's got an S and a T on it. And then number three is gonna be... Woody! Oh, that's a really nice one. Look at him. Look how happy he looks. Oh, and they've even put Andy on the bottom of his shoe. That's such a good detail to add. Like, I mean, they couldn't miss it really, but that's so cute. And here is the Toy Story Woody set, which is so cute. I really, really like Forky. Okay, and this is the background with the little toy kitchen, which definitely gave it away because I could see other toys in the background too. But that one is so cute and I love the accessories. They might be my favorite accessories so far. And we're on our final one. Can we get a brand new character? I'm nervous, I'm nervous. Who's it gonna be? <gasps> it's someone new. We have a we have a new character. This is our final character of the day. I'm really excited. So we only got one dupe. How lucky. This is the hint 
Now, I'm not sure what Disney film this is from. I think I need my second hint. So let's warm this up and see if I can have another hint, please. <laughs> Oh, this might be Pinocchio because I recognize his little hat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, there's something very tiny in here. So tiny, in fact. It's so small. That might be the smallest thing that we've got so far. It's a teeny tiny little book. Look at that compared to my pinky fingernail. Okay, let's move over to hint number two then. Aww. There we have it, Mr. Jiminy Cricket. He's very cute, I like his little top hat. Oh, he's very cute. Which then leaves us with our final character, which is, of course, Pinocchio. I'm a real boy. That's a really lovely figure of Pinocchio, actually. Look at his little tiny nose. Love his outfit, love his little hat. That is definitely how I recognized him. His hair is really cool as well. Here is the set for Pinocchio and Jiminy Cricket. Let me just take him off so you can see the actual set itself, which is actually one of the more detailed sets from today, which is really, really nice. Um, can't forget his teeny tiny little book as well. But this brings us to our final character of the day. And I honestly, guys, cannot believe our luck getting nine characters out of the 10 mystery capsules with only one duplicate. And here we are. These are our nine characters. We have Tinkerbell, Snow White, Moana, Mickey, Stitch, Pinocchio, Woody, Dory and Sully. I have thoroughly enjoyed opening these. I think they're a really fun, collectible and experience to open. I think my favourite out of these nine have to be... Oh, it's between four of them. Uh, I want to say Monsters Inc, Dory, Woody and I really love Snow White but I also really love I love Pua. I love them all. I think they're all beautifully made. They didn't feel cheap and I liked the experience of building and repurposing and recycling the packaging into them being little display plinths. Let me know what you guys think of these Disney 100 surprise capsules in a comment down below. What was your favourite character? And out of curiosity, before I go, let's take a quick look at one of the character sheets because I want to know who we missed out on getting. So here it is. We got Mickey. We had Dory, we had Woody, Moana. Olaf would have been so fun to get. There was also Simba we could have got too, Alice in Wonderland, and then there was two mystery ones which weren't listed. So out of all of these, I'm pretty stoked at the ones that we got. Thank you so much for watching, and hey, if you enjoyed this video, firstly, give it a thumbs up. Secondly, if you love capsule videos, then I got you sorted because I have got an entire mystery capsule playlist. Go check that out if you've missed any of them there's a lot of fun things to open over there and i will see you soon in a brand new video bye guys oh my god right pua you're coming with me sporky you're also coming with me they're so cute i can't cope